Now we will have a brief introduction to equations. Take a look at this first row on the page. 6 plus 3 times 2, 5 times 8 minus 7, 4 squared plus 11 minus 10 divided by 2. All of these are what we call mathematical expressions. These are not equations. These are just expressions. That is, they're numbers or collections of numbers joined together with arithmetic operators or arithmetic operators, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The exponent here is also an arithmetic operation. It's just repeated multiplication. But all three of these are expressions. In the second row, you notice something different. Here's an equal sign. 4 plus 8 equals 12. And over here, 2 times 5 squared equals 8 times 5 plus 10. Both of these are equations. Equations tell us that one thing equals another. You can read it like a sentence. You can say this equals that. Every equation has a left side, a right side, and the equal sign saying that this on the left is equal to that on the right. And you can see the equal sign and the word equation, they both have this root here, E-Q-U-A. An equation is a mathematical statement. It tells us something. It states something. And just, just, uh, just like an English statement, it can be either true or false. In this case, both of these statements are true. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. And 2 times 5 squared is equal to 8 times 5 plus 10. But that's what an equation is. It tells us something. It tells us that one thing is equal to another. So an equation always has an equal sign in it. Here are two equations, and think of an equation as like a sentence in English. It says something. This first equation says 2 plus 2 equals 4. And the second one says 2 plus 2 equals 5. And this shows you that just like a sentence in English, a sentence or an equation in mathematics can be either true or false. This first one obviously is true, and this second one is false. 2 plus 2 equals 4 is a true statement, and 2 plus 2 equals 5 is a false statement.